Welcome to episode five of how to build an actually useful space station. Today we're adding a fuel production module to the station, so let's jump right in. I start with a large 2.5 meter probe core and immediately add the large docking port on the top. I then add some SAS and the ore processing unit. This is what converts ore into usable fuel. Below this, I add a few large ore tanks for storage and then a large RCS tank. After that, I can add the bottom docking port and some thrusters. Importantly, you need to add some radiators or thermal control units near the ore processor. This is because it has a tendency to overheat and explode, and these radiators will prevent that from happening. After adding a battery and some small solar panels, this module is ready. We can now build a standard launch stage, and I use the same design as last time. The only difference is, I realize our Delta V is falling short, so I add some side boosters. But just like that, we're ready to launch. Now the launch process should seem pretty standard at this point. We wait until we pass under the station's orbit, and then we launch into its plane. The only difference this time is that I find myself running short on Delta V. That's what I get for not using a 3.5 meter launch stage. Thankfully, I can use the final bit of my fuel to deorbit the upper stage and actually complete the rendezvous using RCS, even if it means overshooting a little bit. It's a good thing we brought so much RCS fuel. Once we get docked, we can finally deploy the radiators. Follow to see what module comes next. 